Guys, Blue Kool-Aid coming at you. Hey, let me know what you guys think about this picture here. I like, think it's pretty cool. Me and my daughter's been working on a, a intro for my uh, channel here. I'm going to try to keep it like 15 seconds or less, 20 maybe. Um, you know, I don't want somebody to click on my channel and be like three minutes of intro like I see on others sometimes. <laughs> it just irritates me to death when that happens, man. Nobody wants to click on something and watch, watch an intro for three minutes. Anyway, thought you guys want to see that. Well, we're going to talk about Magnetic North again, guys, okay? Um, remember the article on nature.com talked about how Magnetic North, was, they thought it was speeding up, okay? So they were going to send their team up there to find exactly where Magnetic North was again, but they were going to send them a year early, okay? They're supposed to go back in 2020. Well, they decided to go back this year, okay? Now, then it got pushed back. Because the government shut down. Their government employees, not, not essential, so they didn't work. Well, they're back, and they actually went back already, and they come out with the reports today. Um, this is hitting a lot of the, the mainstream now, at least a lot of the, I guess, papers, whatever, magazines you want to say. I haven't seen it on any kind of like any news report, but I've seen it. A lot of articles here, Okay. Seen it last night before I went to bed. I was I just was on my way to bed, so I didn't you know do anything with it. But they've said it's it, it's confirmed it is moving faster than what they thought it was going to be, and it's actually exponentially just it's booking. Okay, at least in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> so we're just going to jump right into some of these articles. But first, I'm going to refer you guys over to Laura Wells Research News and Astronomy. Um, I've never spoken to Laura or anything like that, but her channel is great, guys. She puts a lot of good stuff over there. She re when she does report on something, she does her research, and she does a very, very well, well done report most of the time. Okay, and I've only been watching her for a few weeks now because I just I just became aware of her channel. But I've actually mentioned her before, but I'll leave a link to her channel because this is. I knew the other articles were out there, but I actually, this, her video that she did basically has triggered me to go ahead and do one right now too. Um, I was waiting on my medicine to be filled at the pharmacy and while I was doing so, I was watching YouTube and this, her video popped up and I watched it and yeah. And she doesn't normally put out like three minute videos like she did on this one. She usually has longer videos with a bunch of different conversations in it because she reports on like political stuff sometimes too and just up-to-date news period but she does magnetosphere stuff she does all that stuff that we talk about here too so and she tries to tie it all together and she does a very good job of it so anyway you know go check that channel out guys um, i'll leave a link but what we're going to do guys is we're going to go ahead and uh, just read this article um and yeah, we'll just go ahead and read it because it's going to speak for itself pretty much. And again, guys, it wouldn't be hard for you guys just to Google it. And you'll find bunches of articles on it already. I mean, within it, I mean, this just really dropped big time. So anyway, so the changes have been so large that scientists began working on an emergency update for the world magnetic model. Okay, the magnetic, the mathematical system that lays the foundation for navigation from cell phones and ships to commercial airlines okay this is why it's important as far as our everyday life because it will affect our navigation systems it affects our compasses guys our compasses point to north magnetic north so if it's moving obviously our navigations are going to be off and they know that it moves some which should tell you that it's a natural thing for it to do so but for it to move fast like it is now and it's got to be being influenced by something, basically, is what I'm saying. Anyway, it says the model was updated every five years, with the last update was in 2015. Between each update, scientists check the model's accuracy against uh, <coughs> data from ground magnetic obser observatories in the European Space Agency's SWARM mission, a trio of magnetic field mapping satellites that zip around the Earth 15 to 16 times a day. That's fast, by the way. <laughs> Until now, this seemed sufficient to keep up with the magnetic north march towards Siberia. Okay, so it's telling you right there that it, it's been moving towards Siberia. They've known this. But we've also got the new knowledge that 
you know, from Maver Maverick Star Reloaded about the observations they've made of two different North Poles now, like it's split. The one stayed in, in, in Canada, and the one that's moving is over in Siberia now, the stronger one. So, you know, these are observations that they've made. Now, mainstream science hasn't come out and accepted this yet, but um, they're putting together some magnetometers, and they're trying to, they're going to, you know, once they get the funding for it, and they're working on that, and they're doing a good job of it, uh, they're going to have more observation stations throughout the globe, and they're going to be able to track this a lot better. Okay? So that, that's what they're looking at, guys. That's why, you know, I think it's good information, and I, and I think that they have the correct line of thinking there because they've they've shown it with observations. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. But, I, you know, mainstream ain't never going to come out and admit that. Just Just know that. If they come out and admit that, then you you got to know that something's going to happen, okay? That's that's a big thing to for mainstream science to admit. Just saying. It says, it says until until now, exactly as warned is what this says. You know, we've been talking about this, right, guys? I mean, for years. It says things are acting very strangely at high latitudes. That means towards the North Pole. Things are, you know. Acting real strange up there. Sorry about that notification there. Um, says Livermore, the guy that's writing, that's been talking about this, says, "Who notes that increased? Who notes that this increase seemed to coincide with a strengthening jet in the planet's liquid outer core?" Let that sink in for a minute. Doctor Albers wrote a paper on the core. Okay, talk about how it. If, it generates our magnetic field, okay? So, if the core is changing, obviously our magnetics are going to change too, guys. That's basically what that means, okay? Um, we can go into some big, deep detail, but, but yeah, there's no... I, I would just refer you over to Dr. Dr. Albert's uh, channel and read her article on it. And there's, a, there's other people that have uh, wrote articles and, and papers and what have you reported on that also. Um, you can find that information. It's it's always been accepted that our core has produced our magnetic field. Okay, so when it changes, it should just stand to reason that our magnetics are going to change too. Okay, and leave some links here, guys, and then it says check your compasses. Da 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 da. It says uh, its speed. This this is what was impressive to me. Its speed jumped from 9 miles per year to 34 miles per year since 2000. Okay? I mean, wow. That's 400 times. It's a 400% increase. That's just crazy. Anyway, now it's going even faster and still speeding up. Okay, let me say that again. It's now going faster and still speeding up it's not slowing down guys it's not leveling out it's speeding up so basically well he just says it here in a second it says in general earth's magnetic field is getting weaker leading scientists to say that it will eventually flip where north and south pole changes polarity like a bar magnet okay then it says lathrop sees a flip coming sooner rather than later Okay, what does that say? I've not seen any articles say that, except for in our community. We've been saying this is going to be coming for a long time. Okay, I mean, this is, this is a conversation we have on the daily, usually in our community. So, anyway, this is rather than later, because of the weakened magnetic field, and check this out, guys. Now, this is information that might really just change the way you think about some stuff. It says, a weakened magnetic field in an area over the South Atlantic has already reversed beneath your surface. Again, I'm going to repeat that. An area over the South Atlantic has already reversed beneath your surface. So it's reversed already in underneath, at least in the South Atlantic. 
Okay, I think they call that the South Atlantic Anomaly. I believe that's what they call it. I think it's been there for a while, but it has already reversed. You know, I, what does that mean? What does that mean for everything that we're doing? I, I, you know, I just simply don't know. But it says it's not a question of it's, if it's going to reverse. The question is, when is it going to reverse? Okay, that's the key. It's going to happen, guys. Now, you know, is it going to happen in our lifetime? Is it going to happen in our kids, our grandkids' lifetime? I guess, does it even matter? Okay, now, I'm going to tell you that it matters in the sense that we need to be aware of it. But it doesn't matter in the sense that we need to fear it. Okay? We don't, we don't need to fear any of it. Alright? It's hard not to fear stuff sometimes. I catch myself doing it, and I've said that. You know, even the picture I just showed you a few minutes ago. Let's take you back to it. You know, I just put it right out there. No fear. Oh, yeah. Okay? That's how you guys should be living. That's how everybody should live. We shouldn't live in fear. We can't control this stuff, guys. We can only react to it. Or at least be proactive and prepare a little bit. You know, and what do we do for preparing? Well, everybody has their own ideas of what, what will actually happen during a pole flip. I don't know what's going to happen. We have our educated guesses, and we listen to smarter people than what we are, and we go off of that. But even the smart people, probably, they're, they're not, they can't say 100% that this is going to happen in this specific way. They can only pretty much give you a very highly educated guess on what they think is going to happen if a certain thing starts it, okay? And that goes true with anything that we read or, or see or whatever. So, you know, guys, I think this is just confirmation in our community that we have been onto this for a while. And we knew that this was going to happen. I think every one of us that do channels or even just look at this stuff or believe in it was really, truly hoping that we would be wrong. Okay? Um, and, and the fact of the matter is that we weren't. And that, to be honest with you, I, I hated it. I hate it. I hate the fact that we were right about this. Um, and again, guys, you know, is something going to happen tomorrow? No, ain't nothing going to happen tomorrow, okay? We don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but we do know it's speeding up. And we do know that something's on its, on its way to happening. So we can't just ignore it, is basically what I'm saying. And that's what they want us to do. They want us to ignore it. That way, when something does happen, then they can still control us. Just saying, guys. All I'm saying... No fear. Right there. It says it right there. But, yeah, guys. I mean, go check out Laura Wells Research News and Astronomy, guys. Awesome channel. Um, go read up on this, guys. Don't just read one article. Read a bunch of them. Because you're going to get information from all different directions. And you're going to get different opinions. And you're going to get just different ways to look at things. And we got to keep it all in mind. So, uh, yeah. I mean, again, this isn't something that's going to happen tomorrow. But is it something that we need to urgently look at? Yeah, I think it is. And what I mean by urgently is we just can't ignore it. Okay? That's what a lot of us do, including myself, sometimes. If it's bad, then we don't even want to talk about it. But, anyway, guys. Hey, you know, look out for my uh, new intro coming here very shortly. Me and my daughter's working on that. And, again, what's it say right here? What's that say? No fear, baby. No fear. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.